If you want to know how you can make a ragdoll on death system like this one, where if I die, I fall straight to the ground just with ragdolling, you're going to have to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel. And in this tutorial, we will be creating a ragdoll on death system. So, you know, in Roblox, if you die, you fall into like a million, trillion, billion, quadrillion, whatever, million pieces. And with this script, you will just kind of like, I don't know, just like flat on the ground, you know. Uh, so that's what we're going to be creating today. Uh, it's a suggestion from my Discord server. So thank you for the person who submitted this suggestion. If you're new to my channel, make sure to give a like. If you don't like this video, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell to never miss out on any video I publish, whatever it is. <laughs> and uh, if you want to become a member, press the blue job button down below to find out more information about subscription memberships, whatever it is. So all I can say is enjoy the video. So to create this, we only need one script and a little bit of code. So the script is going to be in server script service as usual. And we're going to rename the script to server because that is what I prefer. We need some variables, so let's immediately do those. We first of all need local players. So local players is equal to game. And then get service players. And what it does returns the service with the requested class name, creating it if it doesn't exist. And the class name is the class name of the requested service. So if this doesn't exist yet, the game will create it for us because the game knows what player service is. You, you, you get the point. You get it. Now we need to uh, bind that to a player added function, which fires. So like it, it executes, it works if there's a player. So players dot player added colon connect function, and we need a player variable. Now we need to wait for the character to load in. To do that, player dot character added. Oh, character added this one. Call on connect function to the character. As you can see what this does, uh, it's already gone. What? So now we need to do something important, and that is character dot humanoid dot break joints on death is equal to false. So this means you will not fall into a trillion billion pieces. Now we need to detect if you have died. <clears throat> and if you have died, we will be able to give you that the, the, the ragdoll thingy. To do that, character dot humanoid dot died colon connect and a function out of that, or else it will not work. Now we need to make a loop to uh, make sure the descendants, or well, to make sure we have a motor six D, because we can uh, edit those to get our ragdoll functionality. So to do that, for underscore, comma, V in pairs, character, colon, get descendants. So, you know, you got get children, but you also got get descendants. And you need to get the get descendants. As you can see, it runs uh, an uh, iterator function and a provided table for use in a for loop. Uh, it, it will just loop through every single thing. Now we need to detect if it's a motor 6D. So to do that, it's pretty simple. If V is a motor 6D, uh, then, then we can execute the rest of our code. I already recommend over here to add character dot humanoid root part dot can collide is equals to false. So add that at line 12 if you are over here like that. Now at line nine, we can continue our code. So let's start off with creating two attachments uh, so we can attach those to the character, which means they can be able to ragdoll. So local attachment zero is equals to, uh, well, actually, local attachment zero, comma, attachment one, because we need two of the same, so we'll just create two of the same. Instance.new attachment and instance.new attachment. Let me zoom out a little bit like that. Attachment zero dot C frame 
it's going to be set to uh, the motor 6D because we this only works if it's a motor 6D. So V is now a motor 6D. So the C frame is going to be V, so motor 6D dot C zero because that's how motor 6Ds work. They require a C zero and C one, and also a part zero and part one to attach. Attachment one dot C frame is equals to V dot C one because we got a C zero but also a C one. Now we need to parent those uh, into the parts. So attachment zero dot parent is equals to v dot part zero because attachment zero only fits on part zero. Attachment one dot parent is equals to v dot part one because one only attaches to one. Now we need something called a ball socket constraint, which allows us to also ragdoll. So local ball socket, oh, ball socket constraint is equals to a instance.new, a ball socket constraint. And this creates a ball socket constraint. It's a pretty long word. So ball socket constraint dot attachment zero is equals to attachment zero because zero only fits on zero. Ball socket uh, constraint dot attachment one is equals to attachment one because one only fits on one. Now we need to parent. Uh, uh, we need to parent the ball socket constraint into uh, the motor six Ds. So b dot parent, or well, uh, I mean ball socket constraint dot parent is equals to v dot parent so like the motor 6ds and then the parent of that so basically the character uh but yeah that's how it works now we need v colon destroy because this kind of creates our own custom motor 6d and once we created those we can destroy the unnecessary ones so now let's go ahead and test this out so i am going to make a part over here so i can edit that when i'm in the game so let's click play. As you can see, I'm in the game now. And over here, I can do this. Let me go up real quick. Like that. I can stand over here. And my recording is pretty laggy, but I don't know why. So let's reset. And boom. As you can see, we just fall straight on the ground. And we have ragdolled. Let's do that again. Boom. And we just fall to the ground. And we do not fall into a million, trillion, billion pieces. And this is how it works. So let's do it again. Over here, why not? And then uh, Roblox logo, reset, and boom. Wee, boing. And we have died. So this is how Ragdoll works. <laughs> okay. So this is how Ragdoll works. And that was really funny. Uh, this is how Ragdoll works. And... Um, once we die, we ragdoll. We do not fall into a million trillion pieces. If you did, in fact, enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give a like. If you didn't like this tutorial, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my channel, become a member, turn on post notifications, do anything you want. All I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.